Queen Elizabeth II in tears. Palace confirmed very sad news on Platinum Jubilee, PLS pray for her. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee is being celebrated with a jam-packed four-day bank holiday this summer. Here are all the bank holiday dates and scheduled events you can expect to see at the Platinum Jubilee. Queen Elizabeth II reached an unprecedented milestone earlier this year when she became the first British monarch to have ever reached seven decades on the throne. In light of her impressively long reign, the nation is pulling out all the stops for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this summer with a bumper bank holiday weekend. Read on for all the key dates and schedule details. The Queen marked the start of her Platinum Jubilee year on February 6, 2022, the 70th anniversary of her accession following the death of her father, King George VI. But the UK's four-day bank holiday weekend for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee will not run until Thursday June 2nd to Sunday June 5, 2022. The usual late May bank holiday has been moved to Thursday June 2nd, and an additional bank holiday has been granted this year to mark the Queen's milestone, falling on Friday June 3rd. For a full breakdown of the main events taking place across the Jubilee weekend, see below for the schedule. Trooping the colour will undoubtedly be the highlight of day one of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee weekend. The Queen's annual birthday parade will see more than 1,400 parading soldiers, 200 horses and 400 musicians go on parade in central London, moving from Buckingham Palace down the Mall to Horse Guards Parade. Members of the royal family are expected to join the spectacle on horseback and in carriages before returning to Buckingham Palace for the annual RAF fly past. The Queen and other royal family members will watch the event from the palace balcony, where they will also wave to the gathered crowds. The event sees extended royal family members gather in addition to the usual working senior royals. More than 1,500 beacons will also be lit on this day across the UK and the Commonwealth to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The lighting of beacons is a long-running jubilee tradition, and it was a key feature of Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee in 1897. The Queen displayed some sassy quick wit after being asked to remove her crown during a photo shoot. A resurfaced clip from over a decade ago sees the long-serving monarch decked out in full regal attire for the shoot with photographer Annie Leibovitz. The edited footage, shared to TikTok on Sunday by user at Britoka, has been watched more than 400,000 times, reports the Daily Star. The renowned American portrait snapper says in the video, I think it will look better without the crown. It will look better, less dressy, Leibovitz adds. The Queen, who is posing in a fur cape and holding a scepter, laughs and says, less dressy. What do you think this is? Unfortunately, the clip was edited to make it look like the Queen had stormed out of the room with two servants, but this didn't happen at all. As later explained by Leibovitz herself, the Queen had been storming into the room and was nervous about the photoshoot. Viewers on TikTok were shocked by the frosty exchange and many believed the Queen should not have been asked to take off her crown. One said, yeah? You don't ask the Queen to take off her crown. A second joked, who asks the Queen to remove the crown? Off the tower me thinks. Where is your protocol when talking to the Queen? Said a third outraged viewer. Someone else said, that was either brave or ignorant. I'm not sure which. Defending the photographer, another commented, I mean, Annie Leibovitz is well known for her stripped-back approach, weird choice for a royal portrait. I think she was brave to ask. Talking at her photography exhibition at the National Portrait Gallery in 2008, Leibovitz defended the Queen. She recalled, we were all very nervous. The Queen came down the hall and she looked a little perturbed. I knew something was up. All her dresses were about 20 feet away. No one was near her.